All right, moving on to the next Patreon request, and this one is again from Mount Vernon Kid. And the re and I normally don't like to do like multiple ones in a span of like one or two days, but this one I was like, I have to do this one. I feel like I have to do this one because it is Halloween centric. And the other two he gave me, I can like push back. I can justify push back to uh, a lit to like in November. But like this one in particular, nah. I I ha I kind of have to do this one. I feel like I re I have to do this one in Halloween because it is it's Michael season. But as all so yeah, this is I'm bending the rules just this bit, not because Jace uh, like Chris isn't just my uh, you know one of my best friends. It's also because like well. I can't really in good conscience do a Halloween crossover when it's not Halloween. The other ones, um, the other two he asked me to do, I can I can easily just push to, no, uh, to like November and later. But this one, I was just kind of like, no, it's not gonna feel right if I don't if I don't get it out that by then. Um, yeah. So here we go with Batman versus Michael Myers. Or, you know, Batman versus Michael, the night he came to Gotham. So, here we go. But actually, before we get it, you know, go any further, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can hit the third third tier, I can count, and uh, that'll allow you access to send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube, as well as check out all the other stuff on the other tiers of Patreon as well. I will be do I will be announcing my uh, Q my next Q and A for the uh, um that will be coming soon. So if you want to be part of that, um that will be coming out tonight. So stay tuned for it. Um, so yeah, just hit the link below. Head on my page. Head on the link in the description below. Head on over there. Click that and uh, subscribe to my Patreon. And yeah, you'll be good to go. But other than that, let's get started with the video. So the story begins in uh, One Night in Gotham, where else? And Batman has uh, gotten the uh, bat signal, so he arrives at uh, Gotham PD, sees Commissioner Gordon. It's all just kind of a normal night. Even like Batman's like, this just fe all feels like routine. Like this all just feels like shit that we've all said and done before and nothing really of major note. Like there's nothing really going to happen that's going to like shock me at this point. Um, but then, it, it, like, if this was a comic, it'd have the inner monologue of, like, sometimes I take, uh, like, I take this city for granted. Like, I just kind of take things, like, I don't take things as serious as I should be sometimes. And tonight, that's going to change. So Batman, like, talks to Commissioner Gordon, and he's like, well, Batman, we got a problem here. Um, there's someone I want you to meet. And that person is Dr. Sartain. So, Sartain is, uh, Batman's like, I've heard of you. You took over, uh, the Michael Myers case after Samuel Loomis died. And he's like, yes, I was a student of, uh, of, Lo of Loomis, and I'm reporting directly from Smith's Grove, is that we've had a lot of, uh, um, talk between Smith's Grove and Arkham, and basically Smith's Grove deems that, uh, treatment with Michael has, uh, basically gone nowhere. So... They're suggesting that Michael Myers be transferred to got, uh, to Arkham Asylum. And immediately, um, Batman's like, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. That is, that is quite literally the most, that is the dumbest shit I have ever heard. There is no way I am allowing you to, like, I, uh, like, there's no way you can bring Michael Myers to Arkham Asylum. He's better off getting treatment from, uh, Smith's Grove. Like, who authorized this? It's like, well, we don't, yeah, like, Sartain is just like, I, uh, this is just the new, uh, the, the, what I got, this is what, uh, what I was told, um, I'm sorry, Batman, but the paperwork's already been done, and we would like, and Commissioner Gordon has given, uh, full aid in transferring Myers to Arkham Asylum, and I hope you will oversee it. And perhaps maybe we can speak over, you know, we could speak in, uh, because I'd like to get to know you. Oh, he's gone. And <laughs> Gordon's just like, eh, you'll have to get used to that. So, uh, the other thing is that Sartain's kind of pissed off too, because, um, he wasn't, he was notified last minute and he wasn't allowed. He begged the, the, uh, Smith's Grove of higher ups 
to basically be like, hey, he's he's my patient, like, fucking let me go with him. I will gladly transfer to Arkham, uh, like, I'll gladly transfer over to Arkham as well, um, but Michael Myers is my patient. Like, that, uh, like, that means something, so let me have my patient. And to which... Um, the higher ups are uh, like the 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 staff. I mean, the the uh, board of Smith's Grove is like, no, this is what has to be done. You're just gonna have to accept it, Sartain. So Sartain was held back, and Michael's being transferred, and Batman's like overseeing it from the shadows as Gotham PD is taking him to Arkham Asylum. And even Batman's like, this doesn't make any sense. I've read the Myers file, and while he doesn't really compare to like the monsters I've seen, you know. I do know what it, what Myers could be capable of, and the last place he he should be is Arkham Asylum. Like someone like uh, like uh, Michael Myers would o like the evil that he is would only breed faster in a place like Arkham Asylum. So why would he be taken to Arkham? Um, I know they said like, hey, he's not going. His treatment's not going anywhere at Smith's Grove, but it's not like he's going to get more help at Arkham. So what's the deal here? So while the prison transfer is going on, um, Michael escapes. Like Michael breaks out, he kills several cops, and Batman goes to like try to uh, like Batman goes down, tries to help, but Myers is already gone. Like Myers already escaped, and Batman's already like Alfred. He's uh, like Michael Myers has escaped into Gotham, and the thing of it is, is that Batman doesn't see Myers right now. He does not see... My like, he acknowledges that Myers... There's there's an evil to Myers, but he doesn't see... He doesn't view Michael the same way he, he views, like, the Joker or Two-Face or Riddler. To him, he's just a psychopath with a knife. Um, but now, Michael... Uh, Michael Myers is in Gotham City, and... There's... Uh, and he's just vanished. So now Batman, uh, it, along with the... the P Gotham PD, who have been told, hey, Myers, is, Michael Myers has escaped into Gotham City, and even, like, Gotham PD, like, Bullock and all of them are like, ah, oh, Michael Myers, they called him the boogeyman of Haddonfield. You kidding me? He killed his sister and, like, four other people. That's like a Tuesday night here in Gotham. There's, there's nothing, you ask me, Montoya, there's nothing scary about Michael Myers. Like, there's literally nothing, like, there's no way he can be scary. But as they so slowly know, like, Michael has escaped, and of course, the night he escaped was Halloween night. In So, Michael is out in, in, um, in Gotham. He's basically hiding in the shadows. He breaks into, like, a costume shop, finds um, his mask, uh, like, a version of his mask, not the old one. Because um, if you haven't figured out yet, this is, like, the time frame between Halloween 78 and Halloween 2018. I think you... I'm, I'm sure everyone kind of caught on to that already. But yeah, Michael, like, grabs his mask, a, a version of his mask, and, like, puts it on. And then the, it, he goes to look for the next thing he needs. A knife. <laughs> but first, he kills the, uh, co uh, the uh, costume store owner just by, like, crushing his head. And then proceeds to, like, head out into Gotham City. And he finds, like, a mugger. Um, about to like gut this poor woman he kills a, uh, he kills this woman i mean kills this guy takes his knife and the woman's like oh thank you you must be one of those new superheroes in gotham i hear Ugh! it just gets cut from like throat down to her like stomach by michael who like looks at his knife is like all right and then proceeds to like head out into gotham city on halloween night and batman batman's like of course trying to find all of this he's also trying to like piece together why Smith's Grove transferred back, uh, you know, Michael to Arkham. And he's had Oracle on it. And Barbara calls him and he's like, you know, what did, did you find anything, Oracle? And she's like, yeah, it's weird. Like, they just, uh, like, from what I'm gathering from these reports, it just was last minute of trying to send Mike, uh, you know, Myers to Arkham. There's, uh, like, there should be no reasoning to that. Um... There, uh, there really shouldn't be like a rhyme or reason or anything um, in question that why he should do that. He's like, so someone pulled the strings. That just basically tells Batman someone behind the scenes wanted to make sure Michael not only got to Gotham, but made sure he could escape. So then they're following reports of like um, murders all across Gotham. 
and they're all like random like it's clear signs of michael myers butchering his way through gotham city he encounters cops he's killing them and he's killing them like in in, in like ornate ways like you know cutting up one, one cop's head off and making it like like a jack-o-lantern um just insane brutal shit like that and eventually like my, uh, like batman's like going over the um the crime scenes and he's like this is some of the most intense uh, like this is stuff that like joker would do like i uh, like it was foolish of me to like think that uh michael wasn't like another monster uh, like just some random killer it was dumb of me to think that and i'm not gonna let that happen again so eventually batman you know bruce does find um michael he does encounter michael and he's in the midst of like about to kill this uh another you know just some random street goer batman comes crashing and he's like michael you're done so michael just looks at batman tilts his head and proceeds to go after mike and proceeds to fight batman batman is like throw like punching him and you know doing all of his moves but no matter what my batman does of course michael just does the and gets right back up um he's not saying anything he does make sounds like oof when he gets punched or whatever but it's not like he's he's like saying anything so batman is like trying to fight mike you know batman's fighting michael michael's like getting a few good shots in and the knife is like digging deep into him and that's when batman like looks michael directly in the eyes and is like um what it, like what he sees is just nothing but pure evil like he only saw that in like the joker um but yeah so batman does manage to like beat down uh michael he does like subdue him and he manages to have gotham pd come and take him and instead of taking him to arkham he instead has them send it send him back to smith's grove but that does leave the question like who tried to get michael to go to arkham in the first place well, it turns out Batman actually goes to um, goes to Smith's Grove in Had Haddonfield, and he basically like travel like he goes there and is like, "I find it funny that you of all people would you know try to take Michael and put him in a new environment, but then again, you always were um, you always were interested in animals out in the wild, weren't you, Hugo?" So yeah. Turns out, Hugo Strange was the one behind it all, because basically uh, Hugo had gone under a new identity, he rose to the ranks in Smith's Grove, and actually tried to manipulate the situation with contacts in Arkham um, to, uh, to get Michael to Arkham, or at least into Gotham, to try to kill Batman. Um, and Hugo is just like, well, you got me. And Bat and and Bru and Batman's just like, why? Why would you do something like this? Why would you let a monster like that out into into Gotham? That makes no sense. You know, I could beat him. And he's like, I know, but like, think of it. Uh, think of it, Bruce. Um, you were, you know, um, Michael's a lot like you. A monster driven by nothing but pure obsession. There's no rhyme or reason. He is just driven by his own nature just a fuel for it doesn't that just a drive an unstoppable force compelling him to keep going no matter what doesn't that sound familiar bruce so batman just beats the shit out of hugo and set and uh has him brought back to gotham um so yeah that's how it ends so there you go guys that is the batman versus michael myers story um once again, I'd like to thank Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again for this uh, Patreon request and continued patronage. Um, and yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? Comment below, let me know. Like I said before, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can hit the third tier. That'll allow you access to do so. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.